I invite you into this time of meditation, a time to rest, to be here and be still, a time to receive comfort, a time to offer ourselves and one another compassion, love, and light. We open with words from the Reverend Laura Thompson. Across the distance, the light from within me shines sending love to all. Across the distance, your light is fuel that warms me and helps to keep my own light burning. Together, we keep the flame of community burning bright. I am sending you light to heal you to hold you I am sending you light to hold you in love There is no precedent for where we find ourselves today no roadmap for how to proceed If you are feeling worn down angry or fearful, know that you are not alone. This morning, I invite you to make space for however you are feeling at this time, to acknowledge the fear, uncertainty, or sadness you may be carrying. Offer yourself compassion and kindness. Author Pema Chodron writes, Things falling apart is a kind of testing and also a kind of healing. We think the point is to pass the test or to overcome the problem. But the truth is that things don't really get solved. They come together and they fall apart. Then they come together again and fall apart again. It's just like that. The healing comes from letting there be room for all of this to happen. Room for grief, for relief, for misery, for joy. I invite you to find space within the music for your own grief, for solace, for sadness, joy, or for whatever you are feeling at this time. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you. I am sending you light to hold you in love. At this time, Bring your attention to those things that are holding you, that help you to feel grounded and grateful. Your own breathing, your beating heart, the love and kindness of others. Where are you finding comfort, joy, and light in your life? I invite you to consider these sources of light, your family and friends, this beloved community, the helpers in our world who are working to make things better, this life-sustaining planet and our glorious sun. If you feel worn out, anxious, or overwhelmed in the coming days, I invite you to bring your awareness back to those things that hold you and those things that bring you light, healing, joy, and comfort. These are the things that are essential for our own well-being. 
I close our meditation with words adapted from James Morrison. Within each of our hearts there is a most glorious light. May we let its spark help us understand what troubles both ourselves and others. May we let its light of reason be a guide in our decisions. May we bring its ray of hope to those in need of help in both body and spirit, that they may find healing. May we fan the flames of passion to help heal our world. May we spread the warm glow of love, pushing back the darkness of the world. May each of us share our glorious light with the world. Amen. Blessed be. I wish I could show you when you were lonely or in the darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. When we are training in the art of peace, we are not given any promises that because of our noble intentions, everything will be okay. In fact, there are no promises of fruition at all. Instead, we're encouraged to simply look deeply at joy and sorrow, at laughing and crying, at hoping and fearing, all that lives and dies we learn that what truly heals is gratitude and tenderness. When we are mindful, deeply in touch with the present moment, our understanding of what is going on deepens and we begin to be filled with acceptance, joy, peace, and love. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free. These words come from novelist and poet Wendell Berry. The following meditation on Berry's words comes from Martha Munson. In this time of meditation, may you rest in the grace of the world and be free. In weakness, may you sense the strength of the eternal hills and rest in the grace of the world. In failure, May you be upheld like the buoyancy of water and rest in the grace of the world. In limitation, may you remember that the choices may be as great as the expanse of the sky and rest in the grace of the world. In insecurity, may you feel the solid earth beneath your feet and rest in the grace of the world. In despair, May you hear the joy in birds singing and rest in the grace of the world. In fear, may you feel the warmth of the sun and rest in the grace of the world. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free. So be it. Amen. Mm -hmm.